East Africa is a media agency providing a collection of African-focused media with the goal of revamping Africa's image in the global community. They want to bring the best of everything Africa has through the new media that includes their state-of-the-art magazine. It'll feature culture, critical analysis, entertainment, and politics. And not only will it be a magazine, but Face to Face Africa will be coming to BronxNet in the near future. Here to tell us more is the CEO, Isaac Boateng and Sandra. And we thank you so much for coming and sharing thank with us here. Much. Thank you. Good to have you. Good so good, so good to when you talk us. about revamping Africa's image, what's wrong with Africa's image? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot wrong with African image. You know, the media has portrayed Africa um, with the need for charity, disaster, you know, anything less is, is what Africa is known for. So um, we, we're taking it upon ourselves to, to try to polish up the image of Africa. Uh, we had difficulties growing up, you know, in, in the Bronx due to the negative portrayals on, on, the Afri on Africa. Um, and oftentimes, being African, we were associated with things that we weren't even used to growing up in Africa. Mm -hmm. So we want to tell our own stories. We want to um, present the, the Africa that we know. Because um, when we look at the TV, when we watch TV, we listen to the news, the Africa that we used to is not what we hear or see. So we want to tell the, our own story to the rest of the world. Sergio, what are some of the things that you talk about growing up, and you, know, you, you talk about being from Africa, people have this misperception. What Absolutely. are some of the biggest misperceptions of Africa? Well, the whole idea that you know, people are running around naked, you know, uncivilized, and personally growing up here in the Bronx, you know, in high school, I was teased a lot. You know, the idea of the whole idea of the African booty scratcher, which is you know, a terrible term, by the way, but you know, Africa is just, there's this connotation that's, that it's an uncivilized you know, society society and people just just associate all these negative images animals running around living in trees you know the old way of thinking about Africa surprisingly is still very prevalent in our society so unfortunately we grew up ashamed because who would want to be associated with these images you know it's not reflective of any culture any society so as a result a lot of Africans young Africans are growing up ashamed and trying to push away from I am, you know, African. So people will see Africa in a new light yes. through you. Yeah. Uh, what are some of the things that we're going to be able to see? Right. Well, as an initiation of presenting Africa in a new image, we, we have an initiative called the Faceless Award. And it's the Fascinating African Committee to Excellence Award. And we're honoring um, Africans that are doing great job in their respective fields. So to present a good image of Africa, we want to showcase um, talented individuals that are you know, working tirelessly to present Africa in that image, which is the positive image. So we're honoring Angelique Kujo, we're honoring you know, Liam Blankson from BET, we're honoring Edward Armoff um, for fashion, who's doing an incredible job, you know, designing bow ties for, you know, um, celebrities like Jay-Z, you know, so, and we're also honoring, um, who else, would be Bokoko, and, mm -hmm. and it's also, um, so basically what we're trying to do with this initiative is just try to, you know, showcase Africans who are doing, you know, great things, you know, equivalent to, um, you know, the Western um, individuals that are also doing similar things. And the idea is that, you know, greatness is very prevalent in the society, but if it's not exposed, it stays in a very limited circle. Right. And there are a lot of Africans all over who are doing an amazing job within Africa itself. Most of the time you see the non-for-profit organizations going back in, mm -hmm. but you, they don't focus on the Africans themselves who are focus, focused on building Africa. And that's what Face to Face Africa, we want to show that these are our people and look at what they're doing to, you know, to bring positivity towards the continent of Africa. So that's the whole idea behind the face list awards mm -hmm. so when you talk about what's going on over there right now mm -hmm. tell us some of the positive things where people may not be is as you say you're, you're thinking about people who are walking around running around half dressed no right. jobs unemployed uh, you know third world country if mm -hmm. you will uh, but but give us some of the highlights of what we what, what we sh what we don't know right mm -hmm. I mean look at what just happened in Egypt you know the youth of Africa are rising up and finally demanding for what they deserve mm -hmm. and that's the type of strength that Africa, we have that type of strength. I mean, forget about that. Look at our natural resources, all these beautiful things that we have, our beautiful cultures. Um, there's so much diversity in Africa. 
um, I don't think any other continent has as much diversity like Africa does. We have, you know, like dark, we have dark skinned Africans, we have light skinned Africans, we have different beautiful cultures, different dances, multiple types of food, you know, so that's the type of, of, uh, of richness that we want to promote to the outside world. There is poverty, but at the end of the day, it's a group of happy people in happy societies, and they're just happy with even the little that we have. How are you able to get this image across? I mean, obviously you've got some plans and you've got some things that are on the horizon, but mm -hmm. how are you able to get this image or revamping this image and getting it out to the general public? You know, the media is a very powerful tool, so we've created various initiatives on, on in, in making sure that our objectives are reached. So we have an online magazine launching on the 26th. We also have a, a show here on BronxNet called Face to Face Africa. Um, um, we're also going to have a print magazine the following year, so, uh, which will be distributed, you know, nationally. So um, these are some of the ways that we, we wish to get our objectives object, objectives across. And um, while we're doing that, we're also um, teaming up with various media, media organizations to see how um, we can partner up and get the word across the world. Mm -hmm. When you talk about Africa as we know it right now, uh, we mm -hmm. talked about the uprising in Egypt and the way that things have been able to uh, turn around yes. just by the simple fact of uprising in Africa. Talk to us about the young people because there are some young people who are doing some very positive things. You talked about the uh, you know Egypt uprising, mm -hmm. but yet and still there's still outside of that mm -hmm. another cadre of young people who are actually making significant impact out there. Yes. Right. Um, that's what I always say whenever people talk about, you know, face-to-face -face Africa. I say face-to-face -face Africa is the voice mm -hmm. of the young generation of African Africans. I am a big believer that the future of Africa is directly tied to young Africans who are standing up today and realizing that it is time. It is time for the image of Africa to change. It is time for us to stand up and protect the image of Africa. There's so much talent, like I said, across all over the world. Africans are all over the world. So the idea is to unite these Africans so they can bring all their talents together and together we can tell the African story to the rest of the world. How can people be a part of telling that story or sharing the story or being a part of what you're doing because I know it's definitely generated some interest to know that the stereotypes are being broken and a new face is being put on Africa if you so to speak. Yes, uh, so can, how can people share in the dream? Sure. Um, the restoration of the African image, you know, takes more than just us. We need everybody's involvement. So um, we can, they can reach us on face2faceafrica.com. That's face, the number two, faceafrica.com. Or send us an email at info at face to face .com. And we're also looking for contributors, you know, people who with an interest in Africa, with a passion for serving Africa. You don't have to be an African. We're not restoring Africa's image to just African. It's to the whole world. So as long as you have a passion for, you know, a better global uh, community, that's what we're all fighting for. You know, reach out to us and, of course, attend the Facelifts Awards on March 26th. All well. right. So March 26th is the awards. Yes. And once again, you'll be paying, paying homage to those people uh, of African descent who make significant contributions. Mm -hmm. And so if people want tickets for that, go on the website right now um, at faceofaceafrica.com. You can purchase your ticket from there. All right. Well, yeah. thank you guys so much for thank coming you. here. Thank Best you. wishes with the event and continue to let us know what's going on. Thank, thank you. you. Absolutely. All right.